Hey, I gotta pull the rear door panel off of a Lincoln MKX. Same thing as a Ford Edge. Come along, I'll show you how I do it. All right, there you can see there's the door panel we gotta get off. In order to get it off, we got a cover right here that's holding a screw. So we gotta pop that cover off. This style, the cover can vary depending on if you have an MKX or an Edge, but same thing, we gotta pry it up and off. And on this one, you can see, I'm just gonna put a pry tool right in there. I'll probably put a rag down right in front of it. We'll just stick it in there and pry it up and it'll pop the whole cover off. Now I'm just going to take a rag, my little trim tool from SK. I'll just kind of put it in there and pop it up. And you can see what's nice about this tool because of the angle. Just pops it right up and out. And you can see the cover out. You can see it just clips right down right in there now you can see we got to get that uh, screw slash bolt out alright sometimes they're a bolt sometimes they're a Phillips screw in this case it's a bolt and I'm gonna use a 7 30 seconds uh, socket you can also use a 5.5 millimeter socket they're close enough that it'll be just fine they'll both work and this time it came out. Sometimes you got to use a little magnetic head to grab it or reach around. But that's all it looks like right there. Alright, you can see looking at the edge of the door, we got another little access cover right here. There's a screw behind there we got to get to. We'll just use a little flat tip screwdriver and go right in the top and just pop it out like that. Now we'll get that. It looks like a bolt. We'll get that. It's probably the same thing, a 732nd. And it is, so we'll just pop it out. And it looks like it's the same exact one as the other screw. So, same thing. I don't think you can mix these up. Alright, now if we go to the bottom of the door panel, you can see where is it at. We got a screw right there, and we got another one right over here. And it looks like they're both Phillips. So, we'll just grab a Phillips head screwdriver and pop those out. There's one. And there's a second one. Okay, like many door panels, now that we got the screws out, and there could be more, always look before you just start ripping stuff away. Make sure you got all the screws out. Because um, different models may have more screws than others. But now we got a series of clips all the way around that we got to deal with. And there's a little bit of an edge right here. Usually, sometimes you can just grab right here with your fingers and pop it out. But in this case, because there's an edge with the metal here where it's rolled under, we're going to use a little trim tool like this. We're going to put it in there and that will help us get our fingers under there and start it. That way we can pop them out. Sometimes they're a little stiff and just pop them all the way around. And there, now you can see our door panel's loose. And if you feel resistance after that, especially right in the middle, if something feels like it's still holding on, stop. Find the hidden screw. Alright, now that it's loose, we should be able to just pick it up. It should just be hanging right up on the top here, so we should be able to pick it up. We've got to get it up and over our door lock knob here, and then we'll have to contend with all the electrical connectors that are behind there. three electrical connectors and we're disconnected. Alright, as you can see, all I had to do was pinch that electrical connector and pull it out. Same thing with this one, pinch it, pull it out, and right here, pinch it, pull it out. Pretty easy. Alright, there you can see what it looks like with the door panel removed. Now you have access to the door handle, door cable in case you're having any issues with it, the speaker, obviously the wiring, our window motor, um, if you need to get further, generally we're going to lower the window. We're going to pull this little plug off and lower the window until we can see the, the bolt that holds the window on. We take it off, then you put the window up and tape it or use some kind of other device to hold your window up. 
so I can put that back in. And then you got a whole series of bolts all the way around. You got to pull that off. And a lot of times you got to disconnect the wiring to get this thing off. And that gives you access to your latch and other stuff behind there. And putting the door panel on pretty straightforward. We're just going to hang it back here on the ledge, making sure our door lock knob comes back through. We want to make sure of all of our little holes are lined back up. There's usually five or six little uh, clips that clip in. Sometimes they stay in here. If they are, pry them out, put them back in on the door panel, and then we can just snap it back into place. And then don't over tighten the screws when you put them back in. Well, there you go. That's how I take the door panels off these Ford edges and Lincoln MKXs. Not too bad of a job. And as always, hey, video helped you out. You liked it? Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you made it this far, how about a couple more tips for those of you who stuck around to the end? A lot of times you got to get this uh, plastic panel off to work on the back side, like the window regulator or the latch or something like that. And so I found it best just to completely disconnect the electrical connectors that come across here. That way you can get this thing out. Now to do that, you get all the, you got to get all the nuts and bolts off first. So there's a series of bolts all the way around. You got to get those off. We got to put the window down and get the one bolt right there out and then pull the window up and pin it like I have there. And then we got to get the three screws right there out. We got to get the screw that's in there out and there's an access cover over here. And then once you pull the door piece apart, this one, then there's a screw right there that holds it in. And so once you get all those off, this will be loose. And then what I do, I'll disconnect the clip here, the clip here. That's these little things right here that are holding the wire harness in. And then I'll take the speaker out and unplug it. And then I'll take the uh, window motor out. You can see the screws right there. That way it disconnects all the wiring from there. And then pull the plug and reach around and unplug the latch. And that's right here. And you can see once you do that, you can just set all the wiring over to the side. And then you can tip your panel out. So hope these little tips help. Thanks for watching all the way to the end.